All right, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Dross here with another video where we're gonna be opening a Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game monster box. So I don't know if you guys seen this before guys, I ended up getting this one actually from Amazon um, on the last video that I uploaded, the last Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, card opening was this one right here, which is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Power Cube, uh, which actually I got good pulls, guys. I gotta say, like I, I mentioned before, I'm not much of a Yu-Gi-Oh! card, like, collector, I guess. Um, the reason I bought these is just for the fun of it. I just wanted some Yu-Gi-Oh! cards in my collection, guys. So I'm not familiar with, like, the booster packs and stuff like that. I am familiar with some of the cards, obviously. But I'm not in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card, uh, area, I guess you would say. So, um, I used to collect these back when I was a kid, guys, which was a long time ago. Um, so, I'm really familiar with that. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys actually play Duel Links, guys, or you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh! What is it that you guys like about it? So let me just open this up really quick. So this is, I think, another one where it's a third party. I don't think this is an official Yu-Gi-Oh! product, I guess you would say. The, the actual packs are real, guys. It's just, wow, that was really in there. All right, so let me just put this to the side. But yeah, so it's really cool guys. Let me just show you guys the front so you guys get an idea of it. So it does come with nine booster packs and one legacy pack. And as far as I know, like I said before, I think the legacy pack is actually a good thing. Um, the side right here. And then the back, I guess it gives you like a better idea of what kind of packs it has in there. So it's really cool guys. I actually enjoy it. And uh, yeah, let's actually get to opening it. I have fun guys i like Yu-Gi-Oh cards in general like i'm a big fan of pokemon cards uh which i have more coming soon to the channel that i'll be opening so you guys can stay tuned to that and just let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoy me opening these Yu-Gi-Oh as well since i guess my channel is mostly based on pokemon right so it seems like yeah it's just the packs in here nothing else the, the box is actually pretty cool i might actually keep the front it looks nice um, I'm actually keep it. I don't want to. Sorry, I think I bumped into the microphone right there. Hopefully, you guys weren't able to hear that. And let me actually put it in the back right here. So, bam, looks good right there as a the background with the power cube right here on the side. And uh, let's get to looking at them. So, the English edition usually I and the other packs I said first edition right here at the top is what I noticed. Um, this one it doesn't so I don't know if this is the legacy packer or oh, no This is a legend of blue eyes white dragon, which I imagine is one of the first um, Actual sets put out. It's not first edition. So it's a reprint. I guess So we got Yu-Gi-Oh dark saviors That's cool um, So these are upside down might as well fix them the right way uh, we got a flames of destruction the other ones that i opened in the power box were actually uh the what were they the battle packs so yeah battle packs number three in case you guys were wondering and like i said go check it out guys i got really good pulls like i said i'm not really familiar with the Yu Gi Oh cards in general to see which one's rare and how rare they are and stuff like that or the sets but i'm familiar enough where I, you know i enjoy collecting them just for the fun of it uh, we ended up getting two breaks of shadow i have no clue guys what kind of cards to expect in these and it seems like none of them are first edition nope so let me get these are opposite so yeah we got a dark savior so we got two of these we got a duelist alliance this one seems a little bit thicker than the rest or at least it feels like it we got the secret forces i think we only got one of these and then we got a shining victory so i'm just gonna go in order guys i think the blue eyes one i'm just gonna save it till the end and uh yeah let's get started so i'm pretty excited like i said before i haven't opened Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a long time other than the other ones that i opened in the last video so it's pretty cool guys and uh yeah let's get started so we got the gear guyan core it's pretty never seen that card before there's a lot of these cards that i'm not familiar guys with uh, Luna Light, Black Sheep, Cuban, uh, Fortissimo, ooh, we got a Morphage Goliath with 2700, 
2750 attack points and so defense um and i'm not familiar with this part right here so i don't know i've never seen that before well you control an amorphage a monster any card sent to the graveyard is banished and static except a morphinish cards once per turn during your standby phase should you one monster or destroy this card oh so in order to actually keep this guy um yeah you need to uh, sacrifice a monster trivia one monster and every card gets actually sent to um gets banished i guess instead of being kept in the actual graveyard so neither player can special summon monsters from the extra deck except a morphish hmm, so this is a specific deck that's actually pretty cool guys let's keep that one over there so then i think this is a rare which is a fusion tag uh, target one monster you control reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and if you do uh, the targeted monster's name can be treated as a revealed fusion monsters if used for a fusion summon this turn okay and then we have a beacon of white <laughs> what a world carrot weight champion that's actually pretty funny he has good attack points though that's pretty cool and then we got a read dice cool that's pretty funny that was actually a pretty funny card guys i wasn't expecting that that that's a pretty cool card there though the the lion a morphage i guess you pronounce it the lion there we go just set that to oh why is this one right away usually they're in the middle i don't know if it's just this specific set but this one's actually hollow and the actual lettering is hollow they are curved a little bit though um, he has 2300 and he's a beast type that one's actually pretty cool guys so I wonder if he's special in any way uh, we got another one of these I'm sorry if I'm not saying in the video just say who change you are yeah these are things specific why are these guys in the front though uh oh I knocked that down and then ritual beast steeds are these all hollow what is that part of the set that's weird guys i was not expecting that what kind of which one was that one okay i think we got two of those packs so we might get a bunch of those shiny ones or hollows i guess you would say dualist alliance so we got saddle saddler knight Unicoli. I'm not familiar with some of these cards, guys. So I apologize. A uh, Draken and Session, Draco Sanction, a uh, Stella Narva Wave, St Stellar Knight, a Lajum, uh, some can't even say these. Put this over here. We got a Dogu, which I think is the rare. Yes, 1900 attack points, so that's good. Uh, Feast of the Wild level 5. Uh, Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. I think I've seen this guy before, but in a different art. So I wonder if there's like a different type. So you guys could pause the video, guys. If you guys want to read like the description a little bit better. That 6. And then Shadow Doll Hedgehog, which is a spellcaster type. Not bad. Now for this one, I think this is the one where we got all the hollows. I think. Maybe this one, I'm not sure. Let's see right now. Yep, this this set right here, guys. So we got a tune table of contents. Add one tune card from your deck to your hand. That's actually a good card, I think. Put that over here. Shadow Vampire. Look at this hollow one, guys. That's actually really cool. It's a zombie type monster. Um, Helmer, Helsman, Fur, Higher. In defense points with only three um, stars. Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Drones, and then a Sky Striker Mega Modules Multi Rule. Multi Rule. So they're specific. They're really cool. Put these over here. Now for the Breaks of Shadow. 
Ooh. I'm excited guys. I like these cards. I like collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just like it in general guys Just for collecting them for the art wise not just not for building decks or anything like that um, But just in general, they're just really cool looking cards uh, Twilight Ninja Nurchin the Shun uh, Performance Hurricane uh, Perform Maple Monkey Board but Like I said, I'm not familiar with this type of card. Oh a Gaiden of Riadne. Is this like a spell monster slash monster card? That's kind of what it seems like. And then we got a Shirani Spirit Master, which I think is a rare. Let me know in the comment section, guys. So the the lettering is hollow, and that kind of means that it's a the rare card, right? Put that over here. Sorry, kind of moved the screen a little bit guys let me actually fix that all right so then we got a super heavy samurai general coral um ag on the sea cast film with 3000 defense points a twilight ninja shinjutsu and then a dragon buster destruction sword it's kind of cute look at them Man, whoever came out with these guys, like the art, that's just crazy, man. There's a lot of details into these. Put that over there. So we're going to start off with a Dynamis Brachion. <laughs> oh, man, these, these are hard. Destruction Sword Flash, Super Heavy Samurai Magnet, a Tuning Magician. Put that over here. A Reject Reborn. And then we have a per, Perform Maple Trump Girl. High Speed Re-Level. Sani Sarah. Zebra. Sani Zebra. 2000 defense points. What the? If this card is normal or special summon, you can choose one unused monster zone or spell or, and trap zone. While this card is face up in the monster zone, that zone cannot be used. Okay, and the Twilight Ninja Shinjutsu. So I think this is the first card that we actually get two of so far in this pack or this set or this opening, I guess you would say. Um, so we're gonna start off with the Gray Great Cobra, Dark Contract with the Swamp King, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Claw, Contract Laundering, a uh, Perform Maple. Second donkey, what's up with these cards? That's yeah, so a 2000 defense points, though. Oh, that's pretty cool. When this card is normal or special summon, you can send one perform maple monster from your deck to the graveyard, except perform maple second monkey donkey, not monkey. If you have two cards in your pendulum zones, you can add it to your hand instead. Mm, like I said, guys, not familiar with that. Uh, Raptor Sultan Maze. Blueful Wings, Raid Raptor, Skull Eagle, and then we're going to end up with the DD Servant Galili. I think that's what these are guys, they're half spell cards and half monsters, so that's, that's interesting right there. So they do have like different numbers, for example, this one has like on the, in the middle of the card it has that blue, like stone and it has a one under it and then on the right side it has a red one with the one under it uh for example the other ones they have different amount of numbers so like for example this one has three and three so i wonder what that's about i'm actually gonna read into this because now i'm, I'm kind of intrigued so triangle trinity shadow doll construct alter guys kidoga it's a link monster hmm Interesting. Uh, Vendred Nightmare. Rose Legacy Sorrow Hollow. And then we got a FA Dawn Dragster. And if any of these cards are actually worth money, guys, I'm probably just going to be putting that in the actual description. Or not in the description, but on the video. So I'm going to put these aside. That way I can look those up. So a background dragon. A link streamer. And then a trick star mandrake. 
Two more packs, guys. We have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Saviors. So watching the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, guys, we get like a good pull. We get like a Blue Eyes or something. That'd be amazing. So we get a Vampire Red Dragon. Hollow. Is this another one with all the hollows? A Recon Scout for Hire. I think this is one of the other ones. Um, a Bravo Fighter for Hire. And I'm noticing on these, the actual like a uh, tribute, not the tribute, but the stars and then the attribute is hollow as well. So I think you guys can see right there. So that's interesting. Sky Striker Ace Ray. And then the last one is another vampire. Oh no, I don't think we have this one. Vampire Scarlet. But this one's more shiny than these. These are like a like a normal hollow foil and this one's kind of has texture to it even on the actual name. So that's interesting right there guys. All right guys, and I think the one that I was waiting for the most this one right here so it's not a first edition pack so i don't think i think the ones that are worth money are the first edition packs not these right here so i'm more familiar with these guys these are the cards i'm familiar with so we got a mountain a skull redbird so i'm really familiar with i think i have a lot of these too uh masaki the legendary swordsman Oh, look at this. A hollow Celtic Guardian. That's nice. And then we got a giant soldier of stone. I think that's the rare. And then I think that's it, guys. So we didn't get the greatest pulls in this one, but that's pretty cool as well. Uh, Mystical Sheep number two. And Warrior number one. Sojin. And Armor Starfish. So these are the cards that I'm familiar with. So. That's actually pretty cool, guys, to get all these, to be honest. Um, I got a lot from my collection, so let me just give it a another go-through of all the ones that I have. I guess the ones that are worth, and I keep moving the thing, so I apologize. Right there. So let's give it another go-through, guys, with the cards that we ended up getting. So I'm just going to give it a quick one. You guys can uh, pause the video and read it if you guys want. So, that one's pretty shiny. Ritual Cage. Giant Stone Soldier. 2000 Defense Points, guys. That's a card I used a lot in my deck back when I was like in middle school. I want to look this guy up. I wonder why he's like, like shiny, like texture hollow, I guess. Vampire Red Dragon. We got a few zombies. Zombie type cards. Reject Reborn. When your opponent's monster declares a direct attack in the battle phase, then you can special summon one tuner monster and one synchro monster from your graveyard, but their effects are negated. I think that's a strong card right there. Tuning Magician. Ritual Beast Seeds. Like I said, I could completely be wrong uh josenhu cincher art shiranui spirit Mo master josenhu misak this is another one guys that's like textured but the actual lettering is not this is the one that's not textured like the other one is uh, morphage goliath i think that's one of the first ones that i'm gonna look up helmer husband for hire shadow vampire this one's a little cooler i think in my opinion card over all the art and turn table contents dagu stellar knight asham saddler knight awesome fusion tag and uh yeah so i think that's gonna be it for this video guys don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket draws out